G'day folks, Ziggy D here. My current build in Path of Exile 3.9 is a Poison Scourge Arrow Pathfinder, which I made with the hopes of being able to better take on the new incredibly challenging late endgame of Conquerors of the Atlas. It's been doing quite well with deceptively good survivability despite the 5k HP against many of the things that I was dying to, and pretty damn solid DPS against those now very tanky endgame bosses. Now the perfect bow for this sort of build is Darkscorn, however, with a bow meta, and with Darkscorn being a rare Legion-only drop now, it's currently sitting around 8.5 exalts, and when I was making my bow that I'm going to cover in this video, it was more like 11 exalts for the cheapest ones. That's too much, and I knew we had to be able to make something better or just as good for way cheaper using some crafting action. For those of you who are also interested in making a poison bow build of any description, I'm going to run you through that process, and I'll share my own crafting efforts at the end for your entertainment. Now, Darkscorn has moderate Fizz DPS, sitting around 320 Fizz DPS. That's pretty easy to beat, even for very cheap, but the real clincher is that 20% chance for poisons to deal 300% more damage. While this spiky 300% more poison mod is better for poison proliferation on the Pathfinder, as far as bossing is concerned, it's roughly the same as the 60% chance for 100% more poison damage that you can get with fossils. And so, fossil crafting is going to be the way to go, as it often is the case. When it comes to fossil crafting, there are two important things to look for. What mods you can add and encourage to roll, and what mods you can prevent from rolling. The latter, blocking of mods, is by far the more important part in many cases of fossil crafting. Now there are two ways to compete with Darkscorn. The poison mod with higher fizz DPS, or the poison mod with flat added chaos damage. As I said, 320 fizz DPS isn't too hard to beat, so this is a possibility. For that sort of craft, we'd want to use corroded fossils at a minimum to be able to get the 100% more poison mod to spawn. However, as you can see, there's a ton of other affixes that can spawn, and it's a real crapshoot as to what you'll get. Corroded fossils are also quite expensive this league, so it makes sense to spend a little bit more money on some other fossils in each craft to save money on wasting corroded's on bad crafts. Spend a little more to save a bunch effectively. And so in this case, we can add aberrant fossils to remove lightning mods and help influence the chaos and poison mods to spawn more often. Really, this is a massive gamble of a craft, and it would likely take dozens of tries because there's just so many bad tiers of physical damage, and you'll sometimes also land the bleed affix instead of the poison one. So while a fizz poison bow could be made to rival Darkscorn, a flat chaos damage poison bow is going to be much easier and cheaper, and I'll show you why. Simply adding a metallic fossil which costs like nothing blocks all physical modifiers including the pesky bleed affix. It is supposed to add lightning mods but we already block those mods with the aberrant fossil so now we have a nice, clean, very likely to succeed craft that can only roll plus bow gems, added chaos and the poison mods as prefixes. For a successful craft, what we're looking for at a minimum is Chaos Damage, the Flat Chaos Damage Tier 1, the 100% more Poison mod, and either Attack Speed on the bow already, or an Open Suffix to Master Craft Attack Speed. Now as for the bow you should craft, a Thicket Bow is the best for this, however, I'd like to point out that an Imperial Bow is generally going to be way cheaper if you're going to go straight for a 6 link, and they are almost as good as a Thicket Bow. Make sure you're looking at item level 83 so you can roll that flat chaos damage. Now you might be wondering about crafting something like this on a Hunter's Influence bow. Don't do it, it's a trap, you'll see in the footage afterwards. The faster poison affix is tempting, but it adds so many more prefixes that can appear and get in the way of your crucial poison and flat chaos prefixes. And a lot of the mods are actually just worse than ones you can mastercraft anyway. In theory, it's possible to roll a better bow with Hunter Influence, but it's going to take many, many more crafts. And with that, I'd like to leave you with the highlights of my own crafting efforts where you can learn from my mistakes. Enjoy. All right, so that's seven, five, and eight. <sighs> All right, so every craft is about 22, 23 C. It's not, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not, I've done worse. I've done worse individual crafts before. But we're going to try the Hunter Bow because the potential results are more interesting. And uh, it's a bit more exciting. Oh no, we missed the poison mod. We missed the poison mod. Ooh. How sexy does it look though? Holy shit. God damn. We missed the poison mod, which is a big mod. We need it. It's the it's the guaranteed. It's the number one we need. We got the added chaos. We got added chaos, added chaos. 
Oh, it was so good. Imagine if it had landed. Oh, shit. I would sacrifice that added chaos pen for the poison multi one, though. Nah, it's not good enough to sell. Who's going to use it? What are you going to use it for? Some sort of chaos hit damage build? Non poison chaos dummy? It's. Nah. You can't, because you, you can't, like, annul it or anything, because the corroded is the one that gives the poison multi mod. You'd need that, so it needs to happen with the Corroded Slam. It's this one here. Like I said, it's like so much more likely to happen if you're using a white bow. The Hunter the hunter bow adds a whole bunch of extra prefixes you didn't get, and we got like two of them. <laughs> See, Hunters, Hunters, and Prefix. So two of the Hunters prefixes screwed us out of our other prefix that we wanted. We're going to try again. So we're doing a bit of fossil crafting here on the Hunter influence. <gasps> Maybe, maybe, kind of, kind of, no, oh, I don't know, I don't know, chat, I don't know, we have to do some math on this one. Faster poisons is very sexy, we got some extra poison, and we did land flat chaos, but it's like the added flat tier 4 with penetration. <laughs> uh, uh, it needs an annul to save it, either way. Because it doesn't have attack speed either. I think Sathariel's right. I think we basically just have to roll over it. Like, yeah, you could maybe annul it and kind of salvage it, but it's probably not going to be much better. And we can copy-paste this into here, and we can create it. Add it to the builds. 60% more poison damage. Okay, so that puts us at, with the successful annul into attack speed craft, roughly 127,000, which compares to Pain Bane, slightly better. It's slightly better than our current bow. Did I not save it? I may not have saved it. Hold on. Never mind. It's it's significantly worse than our current bow. <laughs> okay, thank you, chat. <laughs> I might have considered trying to salvage it. I'm glad you told me to click save. <laughs> Alright, it's significantly worse than our current bow. Alright. The end result of all of this math is that now we have something to like check out the bows when we craft, but we know... This bow's not gonna work. It looks so good though, right? It looks so good. But that's, it's a debate. We throw another 23 or so chaos at it. And we try again. Oh. Damn, man. It got some other really nice mods. It got a tier one chaos roll. Added chaos, but then penetration instead. It's a penetration bow. Oh, but no poison scale. No. 60% poison. Alright, we try again. We try again. There's no saving it. Without the 60% more poison, there is no saving it. Oi! Too bright! Maybe it'll give me RNG. <gasps> I shouldn't be doing this on the Hunter Bow. We got it though, but we got the freaking penetration chaos. See, this would be so much better not on the heart to bow. Oh, but imagine if we do land it though, because then we can potentially get like 90% increased poison damage on top of the 60% more. Emprion Arch. Cool name. I know, it has so much poison damage though. Look at it. 134% increased damage with poison. Great custom. Emprion Arch. Is Emprion Arch good enough? Probably not. Old Emprian Arch. Oh. Just no flat damage. There's just no flat damage. Maybe with an added chaos gem it would work. What about if I change to an added chaos gem with this bow? Would it would it be worth? Well, I'll compare with my old bow with this as well, because let's uh, let's do that. So Pain Bane's my current bow. So Pain Bane's 123 DPS with poison. It's, that's why like I don't have added chaos right now, because it's like um about the same, roughly. Maybe slightly worse, I think it was. Uh, so, 123,000. But with New Emperor and Arch, 140,000. Or I should say, I keep saying 140,000. It's actually 1.4 million. Uh, well, that's okay. So this can be an upgrade. And I don't actually have to... I don't even have to annul it or anything. God, that tier 5 out of counts kills me. Why you gotta do me like this, bro? And I can do better than that, by the way. Because I actually have uh, like this attack speed, 8 to 10, 7 to 12 quality, or I can do like 11 to 13 attack speed. All right, well, I'd only get one craft of that. Let's say I averaged out at 12. 
It's like a slight increase as well. It's good, not great, not try, try again. Yeah, we might get a different base. I think we have to keep this one and get a different base. It's probably good enough to keep. Because it is an upgrade over my current bow, so... Maybe I don't re-roll over it. Maybe I get another another bow. I will, uh... Oh, fuck. Whoops. One sec. Forgot the money! <laughs> I forgot the money! Where's your stash? I don't know where your stash is. So awkward, I'm cringing right now. <laughs> I'm cringing so hard at the moment. Okie dokie, all right then. Let's have a look. What do we got here? Okay, all right then. Right then there, right then there. What do we got here, right here, hmm? All right then, okay then, all right. Hmm. Nope. No, I don't think so. We can't, we can't. We can't practically get attack speed and like say physical. You can put physical on this, but it's not. You can't put the attack speed on there as well. It's kind of. Yeah, if we only had to do one of the two, we'd be fine. No flight damage. No attack speed. It's dead. Btw, Ziggy. Since you really want the corroded mod and the flat chaos, you have one prefix left. I know. The hunter I know. Better than the prefixes you can craft. I know. Is all chaos damage multi. You really I know. The hunter bull. It's true. I know. I know, buddy. I know. I know. But but could you imagine though? Could you imagine? I know. You're you're not wrong, Sothario. However, could you imagine if I landed the chaos? This one. 80% increased damage with poison. Well, I guess the fizz is better than that. And the faster... No, you're right, though, Sotharial. You are correct. What about if I landed the faster poison suffix, and it still has an open prefix? So we just don't land any of the hunter prefixes, and then I can craft my own prefix. Yeah? No, you're right. It, it's, not, it's not worth crafting the hunter bow. You're right. He's not wrong, chat. He's not wrong, but I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna, you can just buy the new Hunter Exalted, like leave an open suffix and then slam a Hunter Exalt on it. I think they're like three Exalts or something, aren't they? It's, uh, I guess you could. I think it actually has a decent chance of landing, but you're not wrong. However, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary, I'm still gonna try again. I thought I had it for a second. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. All right. Maybe I'll get a normal bow. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a normal bow. Maybe I can just get, like, a six-link normal non-hunter. No. And, like, how much is a six-link? I could probably just buy a six-link. In before it was a short bow. <laughs> can you imagine if I didn't realize it was a short bow? Guys, scam the crap out of me. Ah! All right. All right. Okay. We're being much more sensible here now. I'm gonna resell this bar. <laughs> just pretend I never pretend I never purchased this bar. I'm just gonna resell it for the amount that I paid for it. And uh, this bar is still an upgrade, so if we end up failing hard, I still I still have this one as a backup. Imperial bow is a very very wise choice. So if you're gonna try and do this yourself, I highly highly recommend going for the imperial. If you can get it like yeah, a couple dozen chaos, that's a that's a big bargain right there. And it's like not much worse than the thicker bow for making a bow like this. <sighs> Damn. Damn, didn't happen. It's still not guaranteed, but it's so much more likely to happen though. Still, it was close. It was close. We go again. We go again. <clears throat> <laughs> what is that? <sighs> First try on a thicket bow. You know what, mate? Fuck you! <laughs> nice bow. <laughs> Damn. What is this bow? Uh, uh. Oh my god. Yes, I need the aberrants. Thank All you. Alright, this is the one, though. Plus two. 
Hmm, I would have preferred if it wasn't the plus two. We'd have an open prefix. Ah, uh, we have an open suffix? No, dexterity, fuck. Oh, okay, we have to annul this in order to save it. The plus two is not a bad roll, it's just not like super helpful for me. I guess, uh, it gives a little bit more damage. I have to annul the dexterity. A one in six chance annul. Oh boy, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Chance to poison is unnecessary, but it comes paired with poison damage. It's a part of the same mod, so losing that sucks a bit. Uh, it, I would prefer to keep that. We got to We got to do the. We got to do the dexterity. It's got to be the dexterity. Yeah, I would have preferred to have like. Well, the the best thing that could have happened. Well, not the best thing, but a really good thing that could have happened would have been like it landed the attack speed itself. And we would have been able to Mastercraft Fizz. Oh, that would have been sexy. All right, one in six and all. One in six. Ah! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what happened? It lost the plus two? <laughs> <laughs> it lost the plus two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we try again? <laughs> try again? Maybe we get the dexterity this time. <laughs> <laughs> look, maybe I look, maybe I know the dexterity this time, craft the attack speed, and then I can like exalt slam flat fizz tyrannical. Okay, we try again. We try again. Or chaos multi or something. Alright. One in five this time, the odds have gone up. <laughs> oh god. Alright, 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 alright. BAM! Oh my god, it worked! It worked! No way! It actually worked! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Second time's a charm. It was a rocky ride, but we ended up with uh, landing a bow that's workable with attack speed we can get, and bonus poison, and bonus accuracy. That's pretty fucking good. 400 accuracy, bonus poison damage? Yo. Can't complain about that. Okay, 1x for 11 to 13 attack speed, or do we do one divine for attack speed quality? Probably attack speed quality. Especially because it's way cheaper. I got a divine, wait a minute, I got a divine too. Never mind, this is easier. Yo, where my divine at? <laughs> also, this has like got a nice corruption on it, but yo, it's divine. <laughs> I found a divine. Attack speed quality, come on, good rolls. Hmm. Top attack speed, pretty much bottom quality. <laughs> rip to rip to bully, <laughs> rip to bully. <laughs> All right, let's see how it is right now without any exalt slamming or any shenanigans like that. Fine. Gail Mark, hi Gail. <laughs> hey Gail, how's it going? <laughs> Gail Mark, thicket bar. Oh, not bad. So our original setup was 1.2 million. This one's 1.51. Freshly dropped Hunter's Exalted Orb. How much are they? It's probably like all my money and I want. To, I still have many other things I need to buy. <laughs> it's 3.5 exalts. It's literally all my money. <laughs> it's literally all my money for something that's not worth doing. A regular result is probably a better choice. We're going to slam it. I'm, look, I'm going to get my plus two bow gems ready. I'm going to get my plus two bow gems back. You ready? <laughs> plus two is coming back. Even though it's not really helpful, I'm getting the plus two back. I mean, Tyrannica would be nice. Big flat fizz roll. Yeah, flaring. Sure. I'd be okay with those. But I expect tier 8 cold damage. Let's go. Tier 8 cold damage. Bam! I <laughs> got cold damage. Fuck. I shouldn't have said it. No. It's cold damage. Tier 7 cold damage. No. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? I haven't even factored in yet. So that was the DPS gain remaining on a five link. This is also a six link. So now all of a sudden, we can go like unbound ailments and we have fucking two and a half million DPS. What? Massive increase. So that's the other thing that we had didn't even talk about through all of this. I went from 1.2 million to two and a half million DPS with this bow. Doubled my damage, pretty much. That is pretty worth it. 